Welcome back everyone, it's Master Wu. We're back with another video. We're reviewing Soul Tide once again. This is Wu's Game Review Episode 3. So, game's really big, so we're gonna have to split between episodes. Today, we're reviewing the non combat aspects of, you know, the game. I have a lot of things lined up, such as uh, getting a girlfriend in Soul Tide 80% speedrun and an Overlord Invasion 2 level speedrun. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go into it. So right here, these are your skill sets. You got one and two. They're different, very unique. Three, you can choose any attack from one and two, skill sets one and two. This is something uh, really unique. Adds uh, for customization. So it's unique. Very good. Uh, verbs. These are like your cards that give you extra buffs and effects. They're really important to the game. After a while, they're. It's what those that gives you the most buffs, and um, be the reason for that is because every one of these cards have their own level up and limit break systems. Just think about that. Every one of those cards, and they have different rarities, and of course you can assign up to three per person. And we're going to the dolls now. So right here they have individual traits. Good to read them. Uh, a limit breaking system a actual skill upgrading system and over here another enhancement system and the emotion keys this memory is the area that's also another enhancement um, function gives you a lot and lots of boot buffs so yeah so attack power I'm worth a hundred thousand really nice for the level I am whatever we'll talk about that later today we're going to talk about bonds so every character has an affinity level it's going to be either 0 to, zero to 48 as of right now so 0 to 10 that's your neutral 11 to 20 that's your associate 21 to 30 that's just friend 31 to 40 bestie 40, 41 to 48 that's your oath sorry about that typo anyways bestie is basically you know 30 level 30 max as you can see by a big error right there uh 40 to 48 that's talking about oath um that's basically referencing marriage and lots of gacha games so we wouldn't be going that far now <laughs> anyways affinity level gives you know different benefits we'll be talking about that on a later date now let's go to the dorm all right well we're here you know what time it is it's time for the first speed run if you're ready i'm ready don't have a timer but hey let's go three two one let's go all right so what i'm going to do here is give gifts and food items as fast as possible to raise that bond level well affinity level yeah there we go now we're level 21 that's friend level but obviously we're not game for friend speedrun, obviously. Here we go. And um, the food items, gifts of different rarity, obviously give different amounts of EXP towards the affinity, but also it depends on whether or not the character likes or dislikes the gift. If they like it, it'll give you know more EXP. If they don't like it, it'll give less. If you know they have no emotion towards it I guess <sighs> where it's okay they will uh, have just our, the normal amount of EXP uh, can't can't speak today anyways let's continue level 35 I'm not sure if we got this in the bag we only got common items now ooh if it, the food doesn't give enough, I'm sure I'll have more options such as the present cutscenes and the uh, dating cutscenes. And the dating cutscenes obviously give more affinity, but they take a really long time to do, and that will really affect my score. Well, timing, so obviously don't want to do that. We actually might not be good. Come on, come on, thirty-nine. Come on. We actually might not make it. Are we gonna make it? Let's go! We made it! That's time! And that is how you speedrun getting a girlfriend in Soul Tide. Let's go! 
Okay, it's time for the second speedrun, which is the Overlord Invasion Combat speedrun. I'll show you guys what that is. It's like a weekly boss thing that's kind of competitive. So if you're ready, I'm ready. The speedrun starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Right. Now what I'm doing here is just the breaking the um, boss's defense. And as you know, see, I saw I had a defense of 10. Oh, don't worry, my shield's in the front. Doll placement is uh, very important as well. Now, I, you know, I'm not using the ult yet. I have to br completely break the defense so it's vulnerable. Now, what I'm going to do here is give myself an attack buff. So when my um, DPS comes around, well, when it's my DPS's turn, I'll be able to one shot. I always do a lot of damage. Alright, vulnerable. And. Yep. Oh boy. Click, click. Alright. Oh, animation. Oh, never mind. Don't do that. Oh god. That was uh, not a one shot. That was close to one shot though. And dead. Right there. Let's do the second level now. Right. Let's do this. Second boss fight. Now this time has more a lot more HP. Come on, come on. Now we're basically doing the same thing around here, except we're going to be having to do a lot more of the same attacking because this thing has a lot more health. I'm just guessing my DPS would do about half health. Alright, now just the shield's about gone, just a couple more attacks. Oh, here we go. Shield is gone. Ooh. DPS took, I mean, Tank took some damage, do a little heal, give myself a crit DMG and attack buff. I hope this vulnerability still, you know, stays there. Right, attack buff. Alright, give my Tank uh, some shield. Right. Oop. The, the boss is, uh, Ult charging. Oh come on! Why? Why? Bro, why do you have to recharge a shield? Okay. Do a little heal. Alright, my tank is good to go. Okay. Oh. Oh god. Oh. Oh, oh my god, that, that almost killed my tank. Okay. Come on. Heal, heal. Alright. Just a couple more. Uh, tab. That should be for good. Oops. Nope. Can't do that yet. Okay, give myself shielding again. Oop. Ow, that hurt, that hurt. Heal, heal. Right, it's game over for you. Oof. It's time. Don't, I, I don't know how much a timer, I don't have a timer, so I'm guessing it was about like, what, five minutes? Or maybe ten? Alright, so um, this game has a uh, big reward the game does. Look at that. Alright, I've got a couple of pulls. I guess we could do uh Yeah we could do some pulls. Yeah, yeah, we can go do this. Right, let's go. That was not good. Yeah. Oop. No, not good, not good. No legendary. Still no legendary. No legendary. Ah. Well, hmm. Let's 
do our uh, we do our weeklies. Oop, got another one. Well, you know what we're doing. Go look. Ah. to uh, banish every one of these guys because I banished them I did extra material for my verbs see that? Mm, that that that's really nice okay well anyways I'll be fine uh, more tasks gotta click on that ooh how much ooh we got 200 Alright, now what I'm going to do is go into store to go get myself a uh, doll summon, I guess. That's what you call it. Well, uh, uh, that's what I call it. Uh, time to go pull. Uh, Alright. Ah. Uh, now, this gacha system isn't really limited to characters. Right? Because, well, clearly, I did get a character. Alright. Now you can get, like, i seen almost everything, anything. And, uh, as you can see, I got Andrea, but didn't get this on recording. So, that's kind of sad, but, you know, I have her now. So, I'll be doing a review on her later. But, come on, guys. Only 10% of y'all are subscribed. 10% dream is not happy right now so if you made it this far please like and subscribe it helps me out a lot and it's free so please like and subscribe anyways if you enjoyed this video I know I did please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one